Hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Ashley Laverty, and oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here with everybody. Uh, here I am, and here you are. Welcome to Lead Learning on this fabulous Thursday morning. Uh, we are going to move our bodies and use our voices and our imaginations today for a really fun 45 minute class. Um, and I can see your comments, so don't have to be like to put your little one's name in the chat right now. And uh, can do a little shout out, say hello to everyone who's here. And then also, we're going to start with a hello song. We're going to wake up to both parts of our body. So if you have an idea for a part of our body that we should wake up and warm up today, you can talk that in the chat as well. So, wow, you are doing that. We're going to start with three big ocean breaths. You want an ocean breath, breath work. We're going to inhale through our nose, bring our arms all the way up overhead, and we're going to exhale through our mouth, making the sound of an ocean breath. Bring our palms together, bring them to our heart. Let's do three big ocean breaths all together. Here we go. Inhale. And one more. Very nice. All right, everybody. Wiggle those fingers. We're going to sing our hello song. And if you're just joining us today, you can put your little one's name in our chat and as well as uh, some body parts that you think you should wake up today. All right, so this is my hello song, and this is a sing along song. So once you think you know the words, join us. Here we go. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers to say hello to our friends. All right, let's shake our hands. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our hands, shake, shake, shake our hands, shake, shake. Shake our hands to say hello to our friends. We're gonna wiggle our elbows. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows to say hello to our friends. Let's stretch our arms over our heads. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our arms, stretch, stretch, stretch our arms, stretch, stretch, stretch our arms to say hello to our friends. Let's be really gentle. Roar next to the second. We're gonna roll. Roll our nest, roll, roll, roll our nest, roll, roll, roll our nest, to say hello to our friends. I see that Leah is here and Zoe is here. Hi, friends. And Leah says we should wake up our hips. That is a great idea, Leah. Let's shake our hips. I'm going to stand up and go back here to my yoga mat so you can see my entire body. You have room to stand up. I invite you to join me. All right. Here we go. We're going to shake. Shake. Shake our hips. Shake. Shake. Shake our hips. Shake. Shake. Shake our hips. To say hello to our friends. Let's take our legs. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our legs, shake, shake, shake our legs, shake, shake, shake our legs to say hello to our friends. All right, friends, let's do one more. Everyone, come on down to your feet. Put your legs straight out in front of you. Let's bounce on your knees. We're gonna bounce. Bounce, 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 
everybody. While you keep thinking, I'm going to show you one of the things that's inside the blue box. Ooh, oh look, I showed you that one. You can be all kind of. So first, we have But can we go visit the stars? Just like every day on a Thursday to take an airplane up to outer space? You know, we need a really special ship, right? We're going to go to outer space. We need a rocket ship. All right, let's see what else is in our box. Huh. Oh, bubbles. And, oh, this one, this is kind of heavy. This, I think, was making a big sound in the box. 
a bag of heavy coins. So friends, we already sang about opposites, right? We sang about love and heavy. And if we are out of space, there is no gravity. And when we go to outer space, that the lack of gravity will stay light and smooth like this piece of fabric. Or Double. Mm. Okay. So, cool. <laughs> everybody, let's move around how it's safe. Let's be very light. 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 But if I did, they would go whoop, really fast all the way down to the ground because they're so heavy. Friends, let's move around our space like we are heavy. Everybody, so heavy. Move. If your legs are so heavy, it's like you have a bag of coins or a heavy weight holding them down. And maybe there's weights around your wrist and around your head. And how do you move? It might be a lot slower than how you move in your bubble. You move with your body in the weight of your storm and gravity of bringing you closer to the moment. Wow. Nice job, everybody. Thanks. And we're very excited because today we're going to travel to outer space. So, if we're traveling to outer space, I don't know about you, but I do not think I am dressed appropriately to go to outer space because we know there's no gravity. Right? We're going to travel really far high and fast. So, what do astronauts wear? See right in this box. What do astronauts have to wear? And while you're thinking, I have a picture. Do you think astronauts wear? Now, friends, while you're looking at the picture, so much this is a picture from the story May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed, illustrated by Sakia Burns. So we're just going to look at a few of our pictures today. This is a really fabulous story. So what do astronauts wear? I see that there is something on May's head. What is May wearing on her head? And I also see there is something on May's body. And I think there's something on May's feet. 
one on the one. So we have to get prepared to go to Ellison. We have to put on our helmet and our space suit and probably our space gloves and our space boots. So everybody, let's all stand up and come to a place where you have to the room to you. And everybody, hop your feet up like this. Very nice. Put your arms out like this. Very nice. Now, a space suit zips up all the way from the foot to the wrist. So everybody, stretch all the way down to one ankle and start zipping up your pants like this. Zip it all the way to your wrist. Very nice. Now, let's get the other side all the way down to your other ankle and start zipping it up. All right, pop your feet together. We are in our space suit. Friends, we need to our space suit. So we go all the way down to the And we go all the way down to the And we go all the way down to the And we go all the way down to Stretch all the way down to the top. Get your other thing to reach up. Lift up the other leg. Hold those down muscles and down. Put that thing to on. And stretch. Do it over the top. And then you can do it. Pop those feet out. And reach all the way down in between your legs. Pick up your face from it. Stretch up high. Maybe wiggle those fingers. Oh, it's stuck. All right, we have to work together. We can't open the door. We can't open the 
One real tired, sweaty, very snore. You are no longer angry. You go back. You have to know. After all, we're still here. We're still in outer space. And we have got to get back to our own living room, and back to our own bedrooms, and back to our own home. So, hmm, look around where you are right now. I wonder if you can find an object that's a really simple object that can help us get back to Earth. Hmm. Let's see. Here's one. I have some toothpaste. <laughs> this is not a, an advertisement for press, though it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I have some toothpaste. And I think, in outer space, this is not toothpaste. In fact, this is. This is my computer that is going to help navigate us back to Earth. I also have a notebook. And you know what? This is not a notebook. I would say this is. Well, here in the mail, it's going to help the rocket to get us back to Earth. I have one more thing. Not hmm. This is going to be the controller that helps control how fast we go on our rocket. I wonder what you have at home. This is a really fun game. You can play with your brothers, sisters, cousins, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, anybody that you live with. You find an object and say, This is not a This one. You can do anything. In the whole world, using their imagination, this notebook could be anything. So I told you it was a steering wheel. But this notebook could also be a, a very delicious sandwich. Uh, this notebook could also be my very fancy hat. So, so, right. so, find an object that can help you get back to Earth. And when you have it, Go back to your rocket ship. All right. After that, get in your rocket ship. You have all your stuff with you? Give yourself a hug. Buckle up. Probably going to be feeling a rocket ship this time. All right, I got my computer. I have my speed control. And I have my steering wheel. So this is a in the We are going to take off in turn. That was me. Breakfast. 